Hello, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it's Christmas, or sort of. It's about two days after Christmas as you're watching this, and for me, it's a couple days before Christmas. And since it is the holidays, everyone is hopefully spending time with their friends, their families, their loved ones, celebrating Christmas or whichever holiday you celebrate at this time of year. I'm sure you all have better things to do than to hear me go through the normal routine of a Sunday stuff and things. You're probably all basking in the afterglow of friends and family, good fellowship, good food, good gifts, perhaps. Yes, Christmas is the time of giving. And on this day, I have given myself a delicious cup of coffee. Yeah, that's good coffee. And a pipe filled with my very favorite pipe blend. Peterson Elizabethan mixture. Yes, it uh, goes down quite well on a festive occasion like this. So let me get that lit up here. Mm-hmm. Now, I mentioned gifts, and I haven't opened up any of my normal Christmas presents. My family and I still exchange gifts. I got gifts for my fiance. I'm sure she got some gifts for me. But I did receive a package recently, and it is one from our good friend David. Ugh. It's big. He is from Luxurious Bastard Beard Care Products. You can see his logo right there, hopefully. He is a Patreon supporter, just jumped up to the Maniac tier on Patreon. He has given me an amazing gift in the past. Um, you may have noticed or you may have seen the video where I opened a fantastic, beautiful little Costello pipe. He sent this along. He was very excited to send this to me, and he was hoping I would have opened it up on the last Sunday Stuff and Things. It didn't come in time, or it did come in time, but it was so big that I couldn't pick it up from my P.O. box. I had to go in when the post office was actually open and get it later. So I have it now. It's only a couple days before Christmas. The timing is right. This is my Christmas gift, and I'm going to open it. I don't know if David intended it to be a Christmas gift, but I don't know. It's the festive time of year. It's not gift-wrapped necessarily, but it's a shipping box, so I'm going to excuse that. It looks to be about the right size for a severed human head. I'm hoping that's not what's inside here, or I will probably have some questions to answer, and I'm assuming so will David, but we're gonna crack this thing open. We're going to sit back, enjoy just the warmth of the holidays as I enjoy my coffee, my pipe of Elizabethan. Maybe you can sit back and enjoy something similar as we look through this package that David has sent us. For the opening duties, I have my Cheberkov Scout Knife, sent to me by Tools for Gentlemen in Germany. Other delightful people who watch the channels. Mm. We're going to split this baby open. I shouldn't be using a knife as nice as this for such a menial task, but it does the job. Mm-hmm. Make sure I don't have any residue left on the blade. It's very sharp, so I've got to be careful. All right, gang, you're not really going to be able to see inside the box, and it's actually at a very weird height for me, but we're going to try to open this up and see what we've got. This is exciting. Christmas presents. I hope you all got something that you wanted, gave something that somebody else wanted on this Christmas. We have a nice little note here. Let me read it. Use robot voice. <laughs> December 15th, 2020 is when David sent this. Hey ho, Bradley, David here again. Hope you are staying safe, staying healthy. Enclosed are a few Christmas gifts that I'm sure you will enjoy. Have a great holiday and happy new year. David, AKA Mr. Luxurious. Thank you, David, very much. And so see, he, does, he did intend it as a Christmas gift. All right, there's a lot going on here. I wish, I, I kinda wanna just like hover over. I should be standing over this box, but we're gonna see here. All right, there's a lot of packing materials. I want to try to see if there's like a good order to do this in. I'm not sure. I guess the first thing I'm going to pop out here, it's a tin, a tin wrapped in bubble wrap. Uh, where's the end of this thing? What the heck? Oh, okay, here we go. I can't tell where the roll begins. Here? 
can't see the label yet. Bubble wrap right in the mic. Oh baby, okay, here we go. Aha, that's why I couldn't see the label. There is a luxurious bastard beard care coaster right there. Very cool, that's actually made of wood. So that's very cool, we will definitely use that. And look at that, we have a tin of Escudo, Navy Deluxe. It's very hard to get it in the light. Thank you very much, David. That's very cool, we're gonna be doing a revisited of this very, very soon. All right, we'll put that to the side. Oh Lord. There are some things in here. There are definitely some things that I'm quite interested in. Uh, okay, there's something here that says open last. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm gonna take out some of this packing material so I can see what's in this box. This is really exciting. Thank you, David. Oh boy, okay, so this is something big. And it's all wrapped up. Oh, wow. Hold on. Put this down. We have got what I think is an ashtray of some sort. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Luxurious Bastard Beard Care Products. Look at that pipe ashtray. That is very cool. It says, Mr. Luxurious 2020, David Gaudreau. And it's got the little pipe holders here on either end. Another one here has a bit of cork for you to knock out your pipe. That is so cool. Thank you, David. Very exciting. Let me put this aside. I have to make room on the table here. All right, man, this is, this is a huge box of Christmas goodness. All right, we've got something else here. Again, I'm having trouble seeing where the bubble wrap ends and where it begins. Here we go. We have some sort of little pouch. See that? Inside are several things. Hold on. I've got something here. Hold on. I'm going to have to extricate them both are all individually. There's one more thing in here, I think. Okay. We have a piece of double bubble bubble gum. Quite cool. We have a Mr. Luxurious, uh, Luxurious Beard Co. Company card. David Gaudreau, luxuriousbeardco.com. Or no, I'm sorry, Luxurious Bastard co.com. I need to make sure I'm actually reading this properly. I'm seeing double right now because I have really old contacts in. David Gaudreau, luxuriousbastardco.com. Remember that website. I think he deserves a little bit of traffic after all this generosity. And then a cool sticker here. Get that in the light. And then we also have a keychain, a cool leather keychain, luxurious bastard. Nice. And we also have, this seems like a tiny little pipe. What the heck? Hold on. I keep saying hold on. Oh my God, look at that. This is a, is this a tiny Dunhill? Let me just show you this first. Is it in the light at all? I think this is a tiny, tiny Dunhill. It's very hard to see the nomenclature on this. Let me actually get my flashlight. Well, I don't have my flashlight on me. This is, this is a Dunhill. Uh, Dunhill shell briar made in England. Uh, the light is such right now that I can't see the manufacture date. And I can't really see the nomenclature for the shape. I think it says 105, but look at that. That's insane. David, thank you so much. That is such a cool little Dunhill pipe. Let me take a little puff. Wow, that is fantastic. So cool, all right. Was not expecting that for sure. Um, 
Wow, Merry frickin' Christmas, gang. That's amazing. I feel a little guilty getting such amazing gifts, but I, I'm, I'm going to say, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe my gift to all of you is this channel. Is that giving myself too much credit? I do spend a lot of time and I do work very hard on making videos for you. So hopefully you will consider that a gift for you, a gift that keeps giving all year long. Next, we have what appears to be a mug. Let me see if I can get this thing open. Oh Lord, don't wanna break it. Well, there you go. This is Nancy's Clay Works, Apple Valley, California, and it is a luxurious bastard beer care products mug. A very nice one at that. Look at that. I love the, uh, the glaze that's on that. I used to do some ceramics in college, and I can tell you that's not easy. That is a very well-made, very nice mug. Look at that. That's fantastic. Thank you, David, yet again. All right, we're to, I think, the last couple things here. That's all just packing stuff. Let me make some room. All right, so we still have this that says open last. Not even looking at it. We have this here. This is a, oh, it's an IMCO. An IMCO lighter box. Look at that. Wow, okay. <gasps> Look at that, a very cool pipe lighter. Imco pipe lighter. Let me get the plastic off so I can show you. Looks like just normal butane. I doubt there's anything in it right now. Oh, there is. It works. That's fantastic, hold on. Hey, look at that. That is fantastic, an IMCO pipe lighter. I've never owned an IMCO, and this feels just great in the hand. Really nice luster to it. You can see there's a little pipe logo on there, maybe. Hopefully you can see that. Thank you, David, man. Okay, wow, so we have gotten through a veritable smorgasbord of amazing gifts and now we have the last one. It says open last on the packaging. Oh boy. It's actually gift wrapped, it looks like. And judging by the shape and the size, I have a feeling that it's something. I've already gotten a tiny Dunhill in this package, which is insane. Oh boy. Nicely gift wrapped. With a bit of twine on the top. That's how I get wrapped by presents too sometimes. I think this is hemp twine. <sighs> Here we go. Afraid to look. <laughs> There's a lot of paper here. Oh my god. It is a very old Dunhill box. David, what have you done, David? I should, I guess I should open it this way, but there may be something. Okay, there's some paper and stuff inside. Just to keep everything safe. Oh wow, this is a very old Dunhill box. Mm. Oh boy. Let me show you the pipe sock. Let me make sure I get this up the right way. And there it is. And inside we have 
Oh boy. Oh my God. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Cherry stained. Diamond shanked. Looks like there's a stinger in there. I don't know if you can see that. Dunhill on their older pipes. I'm, I don't know if I want to take the stem off right now. I guess I will. It should be fine. On their older pipes would often have one of these inside. I usually would take them out um, and not actually use it in the pipe. It's supposed to make it smoke a little drier and a little cooler. This is amazing. I'm trying to see the nomenclature here. Made in England. Dunhill, oh yeah, this is the Bruyere, Briere, um, sort of the cherry finish. There's the Shell Briar, which is their sandblast, Root Briar, which is the more natural finish. You've seen my uh, billiard that I have from 1964. And then this is the, I never know how to pronounce it correctly, Briere. Um, I don't see on this where the date stamp is. It's just the lighting is such that it's not easy for me to tell. It seems like there's a number. Is that 41041 is the shape number? And I don't see when it was made. But judging by the box, I would say this is 60s vintage. It's never been smoked. This is just, this is crazy. David, you have been so generous. I don't know what to say. This is absolutely fantastic. Two Dunhills in one box, not to mention the Imco lighter, the ashtray, the Escudo, the luxurious Bastard Beer Care Products coaster, the mug. Merry freaking Christmas, gang. This is insane. I don't know what to say. David, thank you so much for these gifts. I can't wait to try these pipes out. I love this tiny little Dunhill. It's just so cool. And this thing is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I've always wanted this shape, especially in a Dunhill. They just have the classic proportions. It just looks so good. And the Breuer finish, I don't have any pipes, especially no Dunhill pipes in this finish. It is amazing. Just look at the lines on that. Can you see from the shank to the stem, the heel? Like, it's just perfect. It's absolutely stunning. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you all so much for continuing to watch me. It's been another year, gang, and you are still watching my videos. You are commenting, you're sharing, you're doing there's just so much interactivity. I love it so much. It is so gratifying to know that you're all out there still watching me blather on about nonsense each and every week. I intend to keep making videos. I hope you intend to keep watching it. And uh, here's to another fantastic year. And I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas. Thank you again, David. Please, everybody, check out Luxurious Bastard Beer Co. Uh, go to, let's make sure I get the website correct. It is luxuriousbastardco.com. He is a fantastic guy. He makes great products and he deserves your patronage. Um, until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a pleasant Sunday Stuff and Things. My Lord. I'll see you later. <laughs>